Good evening, students. So, good evening, all of you. So, welcome to Anakarmi Amset YouTube channel. So, myself, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, biology educator on Anakarmi platform. And I have been teaching biology to medical aspirants from last 13 years students. So, today's session will be discussing about the topic related to the uh, respiration. So, before starting the topic, so I would like to introduce about our Anakarmi Plus subscription students. Anakarmi Plus is for students who subscribe to our courses. So Anakarmi is providing, so Anakarmi is providing free special classes daily. Apart from that, Anakarmi is also providing free uh, YouTube classes. So there is a subscribe classes also going on Anakarmi student that is called Anakarmi Plus. So let us see what is the benefits of our Anakarmi Plus subscription. So what is the benefits of an academy plus subscription is so premium content is available at affordable price so structured live courses and dedicated live doubt training sessions are taking place so quizzes so quizzes are conducted regular intervals and lecturers will be in batches you can join the the lecturers which you are of interested then test series so test series for daily practice papers uh, and full and mock test so these all also be conducted by the respect to educators so you can so if you take the subscription so these all are the best benefit students if you are interested you can use my code rajendra live and take the subscription so recently one batch was started the name of the batch is called as a telugu batch so if you see in this batch all the educators so all the educators in this batch are taking the classes the the in their language the telugu language batch. So all the so in this Telugu batch, so what is the importance of this Telugu batch is all the classes. So all the educators in this Telugu batch will be taking the classes in Telugu language. So that is our native language. So certainly it will be benefit for you. If you are interested to take subscription for this Telugu batch, so you can use my code Rajendra Live and take one month trial plan so that it is of 2250 rupees. So apart from that, there is already one batch was started that is called comprehensive batch in the comprehensive batch i was taking biology classes i was taking the physics class and i was taking the chemistry classes and what is importance of this comprehensive batch is complete syllabus will be covered for coming medical entrance exam tips and tricks will be given by educators topic wise practice papers and full and mock test so this is all you can get for uh, again a one month plan of 2250 rupees students if you're interested you can use my code rajendra live so i suggest to use my code rajendra live to open this uh, subscribed courses so apart from this one month plan so there is a long term plans are also available that is six months plan six months plan costing around 10,125 rupees students so very cheapest plans these are in an academy so 12 months plan so 12 months plan costing around 12,375 rupees so this is the best cheapest plan I suggest you to take this an academy 12 months plan students that it will be benefit for you So if you are interested, you can use my code Rajendra Live so that you can get the 12 months plan for 12,375 rupees and 6 months plan for 10,125 rupees plan. So that is about our An Academy Plus subscription. So let us discuss about today's topic on respiration in that specifically we are discussing about, we will be discussing about citric acid cycle. So previous class, so last class we were discussing about the lesson respiration, that lesson respiration we were discussing that. So respiration involves three stages. So plant respiration was the three stages we were discussing in last class. So in that first one is so so glycolysis. So first first stage is called as a glycolysis, and the second one is called as a Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle. And third stage third stage is electron transport system so we'll be discussing about all this anyhow so we already have completed the discussion on glycolysis in the previous class so in the previous class we have completed the uh, discussion on glycolysis in today's class we'll see about the citric acid cycle so you can see this citric acid cycle now this is the citric acid cycle so which was given you know, textbooks so at the end of glycolysis at the end of glycolysis we got pyruvate so we got pyruvate two molecules of pyruvate as a product and what happens is 
this pyruvate now the pyruvate which is produced in cytoplasm so this pyruvate is converted so the pyruvate is converted into acetyl coa so pyruvate is converted into acetyl coa so that is an oxidative decarboxylation reaction so so decar oxidative decarboxylation reaction this one is So there are different enzymes are involved in conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA like pyruvate dehydrogenase is the one of the enzyme. So pyruvate decarboxylase. So like that there are different enzymes are also involved. So pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA. So our acetyl CoA is also called acetyl coenzyme. So now this acetyl coenzyme A. Now this acetyl coenzyme A initiates the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. So it initiates the citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle. Then so what happens here is this acetyl coenzyme yes so this is a two carbon compound you can clearly see that it is a two carbon compound so this acetyl coenzyme yeah so this citric acid cycle is taking place in the matrix so this citric acid cycle is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria so it is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria so where is this process is taking place mean this is taking place inside the matrix of mitochondria so citric acid cycle is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria so this citric acid cycle is also called as Krebs cycle. So this is also called as a Krebs cycle. So this was first, this was first identified by the scientist. Name of the scientist is Sir Hans Krebs. So Sir Hans Krebs is the name of the scientist. So this Sir Hans Krebs is the name of the scientist who is a person who has first given this cycle. So that's why it is called as a Krebs cycle. So the cycle is called as a Krebs cycle. Or is also have another name. It is also called as a TCA cycle. So TCA cycle, if you see full form, it is called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle. It is also called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle. So it is also called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle. So it is also called as a TCA cycle. It is also called as a TCA cycle. That is tricarboxylic acid cycle. So good evening, Hamant. Welcome to an academy. I am set. Welcome to Anakadi MZ YouTube classes. So good evening. So, so this particular citric acid cycle where it is taking place means it is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria. So citric acid cycle is also called as a Krebs cycle. So why it is called as a Krebs cycle is because it was first identified by the scientist. Name of the scientist is called Sir Hans Krebs. So Sir Hans Krebs is a scientist who has first given the steps in the citric acid cycle. That's why it is called as a uh, Krebs cycle. And it is also called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle. Means in the citric acid, so we have three carboxylic groups. That is the reason it is called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle. And of course citric acid is the first product. So first product, first, the first stable product formed during the this particular cycle is a citric acid so because of that reason this cycle is also called as citric acid cycle so why it is called citric acid cycle is because the first stable product formed during this uh, citric acid cycle is a citric acid so that is the reason it is also called as citric acid cycle so it is called as citric acid cycle now so what happens is let us see the first step what is happening so acetyl coa or acetyl coenzyme a full form is called acetyl coenzyme a so that acetyl coenzyme a react with the four carbon compound if you see the four carbon compound now this was the four carbon compound now the four carbon compound is oxaloacetic acid so it's still coa so it's still coa react with so it's still coa react with oxaloacetic acid so it's still coa react with oxaloacetic acid to form a first stable product the first stable product is called as a citric acid so it is six carbon compound so that is the reason the citric it is a, this particular cycle that was given by Krebs is called as a citric acid cycle. So why it is called citric acid cycle is because the first stable product formed is a six carbon compound. That's what is called as a citric acid cycle. So which is the primary acceptor? So in multiple choice questions they'll ask you the primary, the primary. So the primary acceptor. So primary acceptor of primary acceptor. Um, in case of the citric acid cycle is OAA, so oxalic acid. So oxalic acid is the primary acceptor. It accepts acetyl CoA. It it forms the citric acid cycle. Okay. So oxalic acid is a four carbon compound. So it forms citric acid. Then this citric acid is further. So six carbon compound. 
now it is further reduced so you can see here it is reduced to a five carbon organic acid the name of the organic acid is called as alpha ketoglutaric acid so it is reduced so nad plus is converted into nadh plus h plus so five carbon compound so there is a liberation of carbon dioxide is also taking place so now this is also a decarboxylation reaction so this is a best example of the decarboxylation reaction so citric acid is decarboxylated to the alpha ketoglutaric acid so at the time so reduction is also taking place so alpha ketoglutaric acid is produced then this alpha ketoglutaric acid is further converted into so further reduced so this further reduced into so succinyl coa actually so it is not shown in the diagram it is succinyl coa actually so again the nad plus is converted into nadh plus h plus so it nad plus is reduced to nadh plus h plus in this particular cycle so at here also you can see there is a this is also a decarboxylation reaction so here also there is a decarboxylation is taking place you can see there is a liberation of carbon dioxide so alpha ketoglutaric acid is a five carbon compound and we are getting succinyl coa it is a four carbon compound so there is a loss of carbon dioxide so certainly this step is also decarboxylation reaction then this succinyl coa succinyl coa is converted into succinic acid so the coa is also liberated here so this coa is liberated actually here so during liberation of coa so we get energy so we get energy and the energy is liberated in the form of the atp so sometimes in some books they write it is gtp in some books they write it as a gtp so anyhow so in our ncert textbook accountancy this is the diagram from ncert textbook so ncert is a basis for our medical entrance examination so certainly we will consider it as atp in this particular case also so what happens is succinyl coa is converted to succinic acid during that process what happens is coa gets broken down and separated and at the time some energy is liberated and that energy helps in formation of atp so finally succinic acid is formed and again the succinate is further converted into it is again the succinate is converted into fumarate so succinate is further converted into fumarate actually this converted into fumarate succinate is succinic acid is converted into fumarate and fumarate is converted into malic acid so during conversion of the fumarate into malic acid so there is the fad plus is converted into fadh2 so fad is fad is reduced to fadh2 so that also taking place so later what happens is this malic acid so malic acid is further reduced again it is further reduced to oxalic acid so malic acid is also four carbon compound and again so yeah, it is converted to oxalic so like this what happens cycle keep on continuing so what is important thing here is so all the intermediate compounds so there all the there are several intermediate compounds like here we see citric acid cycle is intermediate compound alpha ketoglutaric acid intermediate compound succinyl coa succinic acid malic acid or fumarate or fumaric acid and the malic acid also these all are organic acids so these all are organic acids these all are organic acids so they are, are present abundant in case of the plant as well as animals they are present in abundant amount so they act as intermediate compounds so like this cycle continues and the nadh plus h plus the reducing power is produced so that will be further further uh, undergo the electron transport chain and finally finally they produce atp so anyhow so this is about the citric acid cycle if you see citric acid cycle once again so we were discussing previous class the respiration it was three stages the first one is glycolysis in previous uh, session the one day before yesterday so we have discussed about the glycolysis now we are discussing about the krebs cycle so in krebs cycle what happens is so the acetyl coa so acetyl coa enters into the matrix of mitochondria so krebs cycle or citric acid cycle takes place in the matrix of mitochondria why because all the enzymes all the enzymes required for citric acid cycle are present inside the matrix of mitochondria because of that reason only so citric acid is taking place inside the mitochondria so citric acid cycle is also called as a krebs cycle so because it was given by sir hans krebs the name of the scientist is sir hans krebs then it is also called as a tricarboxylic acid cycle because there are three carboxyl groups in the citric acid so in citric acid structure if you see it has three carboxyl groups that's what is called tricarboxylic acid cycle so now let us see cycle once again so acetyl coa react with oxalic acid to produce the first product first stable product that is citric acid and it is six carbon compound 
Then citric acid is further decarboxylated and it is reduced to alpha ketoglutaric acid. Then alpha ketoglutaric acid is again decarboxylated and reduced to succinyl CoA and succinyl CoA to succinic acid, succinic acid to fumarate, fumarate to malate, so malic acid or malate to oxalic acid. So like this, the cycle keep on continuing. So that is about the citric acid cycle. Let us see some more multiple choice questions related to the citric acid cycle. So before that, there is one equation is there showing you how they bind up the citric acid cycle. What are the products? So pyruvic acid. So pyruvic acid. So everything under matrix of mitochondria. So this is the equation. So three carbon acid plus four NADH plus H plus and one FADH2 and one ATP according to the given the given uh, cycle. So let us see the first multiple choice question. Yes, let's continue with this multiple choice question. Which, which of the following reaction is an example of oxidative decarboxylation? That was the question. So, which of the following reaction is the best example of the oxidative decarboxylation? So, you are discussing that removal of carbon dioxide is called as a decarboxylation. So, it also involves some oxidation. So, it involves oxidation at the same time decarboxylation. So, in this which type of reactions we can see such type of decarboxylation reaction means you can clearly see here in case of option C. What happens here? So, pyruvate. So, we are discussing the same thing. So, pyruvate. So, pyruvate is a 3 carbon compound. So, this 3 carbon compound is converted. So, 3 carbon compound is converted to acetyl CoA. So, it is converted into acetyl CoA. So, acetyl CoA enzyme here it is a 2 carbon compound. So, during this process what happens is, so, so carbon dioxide is liberated at the same time, so NAD plus is reduced to NADH plus H plus. So, that is the reason, so this reaction, so conversion of pyruvate, so pyruvate to acetyl CoA is the best example of oxidative to decarboxylation reaction. Let us move to the next question. In which of the following do two names, two names refers to tricarboxylic acid cycle. So the question is asking what are other other two names of tricarboxylic acid cycle. So we are discussing the same thing. So TCA, so TCA cycle. So TCA cycle is also called as a, so it is also called as a Krab cycle because Sir Hans Krab is a scientist who first identified. So it is called as a Krab cycle. So then we also discussed that it is also called as a citric acid cycle. So we have to find out the similar name. So if you see here in option C, so citric acid cycle is present and crab cycle is present. So it means, so what is the other names of the crab cycle or other names of citric acid cycle was asking in this question. Okay, so it is called TCA cycle, crab cycle or citric acid cycle. So that will be the answer. Now let's move to the next question. Citrate synthase. So citrate synthase is an enzyme of TCA cycle. So citrate synthase. So citrate synthase is the enzyme of Krab cycle or TCA cycle and we already know that what is the location of Krab cycle we were discussing the same thing. So where is the location of Krab cycle is taking place or TCA cycle is taking place. So it is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria. So it is taking place in the matrix. So it is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria. So TCA cycle is taking place in the matrix of mitochondria. So certainly so answer will be matrix of mitochondria. So if you see here in prokaryotes, in case of prokaryotes, in case of prokaryotes, what happens is the TCA cycle is absent. TCA cycle or whatever maybe TCA cycle is absent in case of the prokaryotes. In prokaryotes, so in prokaryotes, what happens is only glycolysis, only glycolysis takes place. So glycolysis takes place in prokaryotes. So in prokaryotes what happens is only glycolysis takes place. So in prokaryotes only glycolysis will be taking place. Okay. 
So certainly so the option B. So option B will be the answer. Citric synthase and enzyme of tricarboxylic acid cycle. It is located in the matrix of mitochondrial matrix in case of eukaryote. So that will be the right answer. So option B will be the right answer in this case. Let's move the next question. In citric acid, in citric acid cycle, the energy bond GPP is produced in which part of the reaction? Okay. So if you go to the equations of citric acid cycle, we were discussing the same thing, right? So we were discussing in one of the equation today that succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA is converted into succinic acid. Succinyl CoA is converted into succinic acid. So, in this moment what happens is, the CoA will be going out to break the CoA from succinic acid. So, there is a liberation of some energy took place and that liberation of energy react with inorganic phosphate and form GTP. So, in our cycle the ATP formation sh is shown actually. So, at this stage actually, so like this, during the conversion of succinyl CoA, to succinic acid what happens is some energy is liberated that energy helps in binding of GDP with inorganic phosphate to form GDP so based on the given question in citric acid cycle the energy bond is produced as a result of so as a, as a result that energy bond that is GDP is produced so GDP is produced as a result of this particular succinyl CoA come from conversion of succinyl CoA to succinic acid so option C will be the answer Let's move to next question. Yes, so let's go to the next question. Out of 38 ATP, so out of 38 ATP molecules produced per glucose. So 32 ATP molecules are formed from NADPH2 and FADH2 in which cycle that was the question. So that is actually in Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle. So, so we know that in aerobic respiration, so at the end of aerobic respiration, the synthesis of 38 ATP is produced. At the end of aerobic respiration, 38 ATP is produced. So 38 ATP is produced at the end of aerobic respiration. So out of this 38 ATP, so 32 ATP, so 32 ATP is 32 ATP are produced. So 32 ATP are produced in the Krebs cycle itself. So they are produced in the Krebs cycle. So they are produced in the Krebs cycle itself. So whole total aerobic respiration at the end of aerobic respiration. So according to the work given NCR textbook, it is clearly mentioned that at the end of aerobic respiration, the glucose, the glucose undergoes aerobic respiration and finally produces 38 ATP. So that was the final conclusion. Okay. <coughs> So we are discussing in today's class. So which is the acceptor? So which is the acceptor of acetyl CoA in Krebs cycle? So which is the acceptor of acetyl CoA in Krebs cycle? That's what we were discussing. So in Krebs cycle, we are discussing so acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA is a two-carbon compound. So acetyl CoA is a two-carbon compound that react with oxalo acetic acid so that react with oxaloacetic acid that is OA so that react with oxaloacetic acid to produce that react with oxaloacetic acid to produce the citric acid so this is the six carbon compound citric acid so this is the first stable product so first stable product in Krebs cycle is citric acid so that's the reason it is for citric acid cycle and what is the first question so acceptor which is who is accepting acetyl coa so certainly here the oxalic acid so oxalic acid is accepting this oxalic acid is a four carbon compound so based on that we can take the answer as option d so oxalic acid will be our answer in this case let's move next question the thought <coughs> <coughs> Yes, let's move. The total number of ATP consumed. So, how many number of ATP is consumed? How many number of ATP is consumed during Krebs cycle? That was the question. 
So during the process of Krebs cycle, there is no no ATP consumption. So there is the ATP ATP consumption. There is no ATP consumption took place. No ATP consumption. So no ATP consumption. So no ATP consumption in this case actually. Okay. So ATP consumption is not taking place. So total number of ATP consumed during the Krebs cycle is how many? Means there is no ATP consumption. So finally we will be giving the answer as option A will be our answer. So because there is no ATP consumption in this case. Next. Which of the following is incorrect? So which of the following is incorrect regarding Krebs cycle? So which of the following is incorrect? So which of the following is incorrect regarding Krebs cycle? That was the question. So which of the following is incorrect regarding the Krebs cycle? So, so which of the following is incorrect? If we see here, so it is known as tricarboxylic acid cycle. So this statement is a correct statement. Now this statement is a correct statement. So it is known as tricarboxylic acid cycle. Then it occurs in mitochondria. So this is also a correct statement. So it is occurring in mitochondria, matrix of mitochondria. It starts with six carbon. So that's what the question. It starts with six carbon. It's wrong. So, so it 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 starts with six carbon means maybe the product mostly the product maybe six carbon compound in here. So citric acid. So citric acid is the first product. So certainly we'll take this six carbon. So should be correct also. We'll take this as also correct statement because in this question was asking starts with. So actually, uh, Estelle Coe is uh, it starts with. Let us see the statement D also. Then we'll conclude the answer once again. So it does not involve any decarboxylation step. So this is a wrong statement. So this is the most relevant and wrong statement because so two steps we have seen in today's citric acid cycle. Two steps. Two steps involves. So two decarboxylation reaction, two steps involves the decarboxylation. So, so decarboxylation reactions takes place. So two decarboxylation reactions takes place inside. So two decarboxylation reactions actually. So that is the reason we will take option D. So which is this is the most incorrect statement. So in the option C, in this option C, here also. Here maybe this question statement wants to tell that the first the product formed is citric acid and it is six carbon compound. So we'll take option C is also a right statement. So finally, our incorrect statement is option D. So let us move to the next question. So match the number of carbon atoms given in column one with column with that of compounds given in column two. So four carbon compounds. So let us see. One by one. See if you see here, acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA is a two-carbon compound. Pyruvate. So pyruvate is a three-carbon compound. Citric acid cycle. It is a six-carbon compound. Alpha ketoglutaric acid. It is a five-carbon compound. So malic acid. So malic acid is a four-carbon compound. So here you see the question. Four-carbon compound. So let's move to the. Malic acid four carbon compound, then two carbon compound is acetyl CoA two carbon compound, then five carbon compound is alpha ketoglutaric acid, then three carbon compound it is pyruvate. So based on that we can identify the answer. So A five B one. So certainly option C. So option C will be our answer in this case. So let us see this diagram and question. Refer the figure of citric acid and choose the correct combination of labeling. So citric acid cycle we are discussing citric acid. So it is six carbon compound. So just now discussing six carbon. Alpha ketoglutarate is a five carbon compound. Here only we are discussing that some carbon is is liberated. So this step is a decarboxylation reaction. Now this step is a decarboxylation. So previous question we are discussing you no know, decarboxylation reaction. Again, we see succinic acid. Succinic acid is a four-carbon compound. Here it is five carbon. So here also one carbon dioxide comes out. Now this is also another decarboxylation reaction. Now this step is also a decarboxylation reaction. 
Then succinase is converted into malate. Malate is four carbon compound. Oxalic acid is also four carbon compound. So based on that, we'll just check the answer. So. So Q, Q is six, six carbon. So Q is there, six carbon. There also six carbon is there. Then we have R. R is five carbon. So this is five carbon. Then four carbon, six. So option A will be our right answer. So with this, we'll end this today's session. Tomorrow, uh, day after tomorrow, we'll discuss about electron transport chain and some more multiple choice question students. So before ending the Uh, today's session so i would like to to one second introduce about our an academy long term plans so an academy is providing free live classes every day students so if you are interested to join my special free classes you can below this there is a description box is available in that there is a link is provided students so through that link you join my free special classes on our an academy app So there is a description box available. That link is also given. So you click that link, and to open the free special classes, also if code was asked, means you can use my code Rajendra Live. You use my code Rajendra Live and join my free special live classes. And if you want to take subscription, so one month subscription is there, two thousand two hundred fifty rupees. If you use my code, you will get one month subscription. If you can go for long term plan, six months plan, ten thousand one hundred twenty five rupees. And there is twelve months plan is also available twelve thousand three hundred seventy five rupees. So use my code Raj General Live and join the six months plan and twelve months plan students. And so this is end of today's session. So thank you students, thank you for joining this session. So see you in the next class with another topic on electron transport chain. So thank you students, see you next class.